Jeremiah 45, 5 says, But you, are you seeking great things for yourself? Do not seek them. Behold, I am going to bring disaster on all flesh, declares the Lord. But I will give you your life as a body in all the places where you may go. Joining us in reading through this 90 day reading plan. Today's reading is Jeremiah chapter 45 and 46, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, Harry Truman said, It's amazing what you accomplish if you don't care who gets the credit. Someone else might have a, who is a believer might say, Everything I do is for God's glory. Well, it's really difficult to continue to do a job and not get credit for the accomplishments. This is particularly true if someone else gets the credit for a job that you personally did. You really put a burr under your saddle. But our life in Christ should not be that way. Our life in Christ should be one of repentance. We should not seek our own power and glory. We should seek God's will and His glory. We are nothing before we came to Him, and we're certainly nothing after we come to Him. This is truly counterintuitive for our way of life, particularly here in the United States. Yet, in history books, there were replete with stories of people who gained fame without seeking it. Teddy Roosevelt was given the job of vice president so that he could, um, the Republican establishment could get rid of him. He became president when William McKinley was shot. Harry Truman was somebody that no one knew, and yet when FDR died, Truman was thrust into the spotlight. But we as believers should be committed to doing the work that God has let out for us. You can see Ephesians 2.10 for that. It's God who laid out the work that we should be doing, and it's his work. We're only tools. My grandfather had a hobby of building models out of wooden sailor ships. He did all the work by hand, and some of these models are in museums in Maine and Maryland today. The hammers, the chisels, the lathe, and other tools actually did the work, but they didn't get any credit. My grandfather was the one who received the credit. But we are God's workmanship. We are his tools, and we should be satisfied with doing his work and not seek glory outside of that. 